The Faith I Live By, a devotional by Ellen G. White. The Secret of Power Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. Psalm 119 verse 9 It is one thing to treat the Bible as a book of good moral instruction, to be heeded so far as is consistent with the spirit of the times and our position in the world. It is another thing to regard it as it really is, the word of the living God, the word that is our life, the word that is to mold our actions, our words, and our thoughts. To hold God's word anything less than this is to reject it. The word of God is a character detector, a motive tester. We are to read this word with heart and mind open to receive the impressions that God will give. We must not think that the reading of the word can accomplish that which only he whom the word reveals who stands behind the word, can accomplish. Some are in danger of hastening to the conclusion that because they hold firmly to the doctrines of the truth, they are actually in possession of the blessings which these doctrines declare shall come to the receiver of truth. Many keep the truth in the outer court. Its sacred principles have not a controlling influence over the words, the thoughts, the actions. In this perilous day of evil, when allurements to vice and corruption are on every hand, let the earnest, heartfelt cry of the young be raised to heaven. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? And may his ears be open and his heart inclined to obey the instruction given in the answer, by taking heed thereto according to thy word. The only safety for the youth in this age of pollution is to make God their trust. Without divine help, they will be unable to control human passions and appetites, and Christ is the very help needed. Truth must reach down to the deepest recesses of the soul and cleanse away everything unlike the Spirit of Christ, and the vacuum be supplied by the attributes of His character, who was pure and holy and undefiled, that all the springs of the heart may be as flowers fragrant with perfume, a sweet-smelling savor, a savor of life unto life.